Hey it's me, Dizzle3 and welcome back to another Manudox tutorial. Today, as suggested a long time ago by Ainge, if I pronounce your name correctly, on our Discord, uh, how to save text on Hastebin. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna save text on Hastebin, or actually the Manudox paste bin. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. The menu doc space bin as seen over here is a ghost bin clone, but ghost bin is dead unfortunately. So that's why we are now hosting our own version of it. And of course, ghost bin has an API and we can utilize this API in our code. So let's get started with use, with creating our paste command. The first thing that we want to do is include the library, which is org.menu.docs and paste client Java. So now that we have our paste client imported, we can go to our commands package and add a new one. So new Java class, and I'm gonna call it paste command. And this implements I command. I don't think it likes me today. We're going to set the name to lowercase paste. And the help is going to be creates a paste on the menu docs paste. And then the usage, which is paste, a language, and text. If you don't know what languages you can choose from, you can go to paste.menudocs.org slash languages.json without that. And there you can see a full list of all the languages. By the way, if you want this plugin that formats JSON really nice, it's called uh, JSON Formatter. I'll leave a link in the description. These are the languages. You can have like text languages, uh, you have common languages, and we have other languages. So let's get started coding our paste bin command. Let's go to the GitHub at first and just copy this. And let's make this a private private final and import all of this. Oh. And we can set for firstly we can use our agent to menu doc tutorial bot. The default expiry is 10 minutes, which is good enough. Which is a recommendation, um, just make sure the expiry is low if you're just testing, so you don't clog up our system. With the paste host, you can choose between menu docs and local host. Uh, local host is mainly if you're hosting this locally. Or you can set your own paste host using new paste host. And then here you do like the new URI and then the host in there. Just so there's some validation, but it's optional. And since the menu docs one is default, well, we can just do that. Next up in our handle method, we need to get two variables. So the first one is the args. So ctx.args.var. Yo. And we're gonna get the text channel, ctx.channel. Come on, var. And. Let's do our first check, which is checking if the arguments are less than two, because we need at least a language and a text. So we're going to say if args.size is less than two, we're going to return and we're going to uh, channel.send message. And don't forget to queue this. And we're going to say missing arguments. Next up, we're going to get our language. So final string language equals args dot get zero. And we're going to get the paste content. So we're going to say final string body equals string dot join. Going to join it with a space. Gonna say args dot sublist one and args dot size. 
So this will remove the first index of our arcs. Now to test this, we can print the language and we can print the body. Now to make sure that we can test this, we're going to go over to our command manager. We're going to say add command new paste command. Now let's boot up the bot and get testing. So now that the bot is booted up, we can say paste and we can say for um, we can say paste uh, js for example and it will say missing arguments now if we create an actual javascript script for example uh, we can see it prints it to the console but it prints js and it prints this all on one line and our enters are removed that's not good but that's because our arcs don't know what a new line is. To fix this, we need to get the content raw instead. So final string content raw equals ctx dot get a message dot get content raw. This includes the new lines. And we're gonna get the index of the language. So final int index equals content raw dot index of language and because this gets the start of the language we basically want to strip off the entire language we also need to do plus language dot length now what we can do for the body is content raw dot substring index and we're gonna trim that to remove any trailing or leading spaces now let's boot our bot back up and see what this does so if we right now take the same paste content and enter that you can see that our function has the correct new lines next up in our code we can remove these print statements and say client.create paste first off we need to pass the language and then the body we can also set a optional expiration string but because we set the default expiration of here to 10 minutes this will be fine next up we can either uh, execute this to get the paste id returned or do this async i prefer doing this async which you can execute it if you want so this gives us our paste id and from this id we can either generate a message to the paste so let's do that first say channel dot send a message format and queue this if we go over here to a paste that already exists we can see that we have the paste id in the last part of the url so we can just copy this paste this here and replace the last part with a percent sign s to format it if we boot our bot up right now and we go back to Discord and paste this in, you can see it gives us back a link to the correct paste. Now don't be scared if what if this happens. If you send the same paste, the paste will return the same paste ID because you posted the same content. This is normal, so don't be afraid when this happens. So let's look at the paste and as you can see, here's our JavaScript code in the paste with a expiry of 10 minutes but what i actually want to do is i want to display the paste in an embed so what we can do then is we can fetch the paste so to fetch the paste we can say client dot get paste and then the paste idea we're gonna async this as well and we have the paste right in here next up we will create a embed builder builder and a new embed builder we're gonna set a title to paste and then paste dot get id you of course could just put the id right here and as second parameter i want to say paste dot get paste url next up i want to set the description to three backticks next up we're going to append the description with paste dot 
get language dot get ID. Then we're gonna append the description a new line. And we're gonna append description uh, the paste dot get body. And then we're gonna append description the oh, the closing backticks. Finally, we can say channel dot send dot send message builder dot build, and we're gonna queue this off. Now let's go back to Discord and see what this looks like. So now that we are back in Discord and paste it again, you see that we get the same paste ID back because we're still pasting the same thing and it hasn't expired. And it shows us our paste in the preview. So if we click on here, it will open the paste with the link. And that's how you make a paste command. Next time, I'll show you how to do this with the haste bin client because it's a two-part tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!